Hi guys and welcome back to my channel. My name is Amanda and today we're going to be doing something a little bit different. So I might have mentioned before that I'm a cosmetologist and with the um, coronavirus going on, I wanted to do a special segment for all the brides that are going to have to either do their own hair and makeup or are going to just have to cut back costs or what. So I'm going to start segment one with a hair tutorial on something really simple that you can do for your wedding. Um, and that's why I look like this. Um, so we're going to be doing that and then I will have a second segment on how to do easy wedding makeup. Um, just something simple and everything so you guys will be able to feel like you had your makeup done but have some tips and tricks about that as well. So for the first segment, let's get to it and we're going to start with um, hair. So what you're going to need for this is some bobby pins, a curling iron, um, any kind of heat protectant, and a hairspray. I This is a protectant and a hairspray. So I use this one because my hair is very fine and I don't want to, um, you know, like weigh my hair down. So what I'm going to first do is spray my whole hair with the heat protectant. That is so important when you're doing hair. Um, especially if you're going to put heat on it. And if it's colored like mine, then you definitely want to. So now that you, and then you want to make sure you comb or brush that through. I'm using my wet brush. It's really dirty. Kind of need to clean that. My hair just falls out every time I do it. So now that we did that, we're going to take a clip and we're going to just section your hair off a little bit. So I'm going to show you from the back here. We're just going to start with like a back section here. And depending on like the length of your hair or whatever, you're going to want to do your hair curls different. You can either alternate your curls or if you like it really spirally, you can do them all in one direction. I like to alternate my curls sometimes and then I also like to sometimes do like two in the same direction. So I'm going to kind of go a little bit all over the place, but you're going to, I always Flip my hair down the middle in the two and work from the back section on each side towards the front. So I'm going to take this section right here. It's already sprayed with our heat protectant so don't need to do anything. You're going to put your hair in the curling iron, hold the tip. Make sure you don't give yourself any fish hooks and by what I mean is what if you, if you guys leave that end piece right there out, you're gonna like have really bad like curl it's not gonna curl well so see how I had it in there like that now we're gonna put it back so I can actually curl it but you want to make sure that that end piece is in your curl so we're just gonna curl it this is the back doesn't really matter which way you're curling it and you can kind of like move the curling iron a little bit if you have a wrap curling iron, you can do that too, but it's a little harder to avoid fish hooks with that. So now, my hair curls really easy, so I only hold it for a few seconds, and then you have a perfect little curl right there. So we're going to just keep doing that on this side. You can do them as big or as small as you'd like. Just remember that you don't, if you go really small, you're going to have a lot of poof and volume, so if that's what you want, then go for it but I like to be able to control it later on. And so we just gonna keep the sections kind of a medium, not too big, not too small, but we wanna be able to manipulate it when we actually are putting it, cause it's gonna be a half up, half down. So we're gonna have little pieces bobby pin towards the back. It's a pretty simple hairstyle. You've probably done it yourself, but these are just some tips and tricks just how to actually get your curls to stay and make them look like someone else did them for you. So see how I'm, I'm like rotating the curling iron the whole entire time, making sure every piece of hair is in it. And just kind of dropping it as I feel. Now if you have baby hairs like I do, you can just kind of take them and just kind of smooth them out. You don't want to curl them all, like you just want to kind of like smooth them by curling it a little bit. You don't want to actually put it in a curl because it's going to blend in better if you leave it that. So see how that side has those three curls? 
So they're all kind of going directed back a little bit, which is fine. I kind of like my curls away from the face because that way it's not in my eyes. Especially on your wedding day, you don't want anything in your face. So now we're going to have the next side. We're going to do this. Ooh, that was a fail, guys. The lower to the base you have it, the more it will fall out. So keep it towards the middle. It's hard for me to do that. and talk to you at the same time so on this side because the camera's on the other side so just watch what i'm doing and i'll try to explain so i'm just holding it a little bit then we'll drop it out and see how you have it still curled there's no like weird like frizzies at the end because of the fi i don't have any fish hooks now i just got married in september so last september of 2019 so i fully understand the wedding stress um but the last thing you guys should be stressing about is your hair and makeup because there's so many resources out there for you guys and i know it's not what you expected but you can still have really nice hair and makeup by doing it on your own some of them will hold a little bit more than others but everyone's hair settles so what's going to happen is your hair is going to eventually start pulling out some of the curl. So if you have really fine hair and your hair usually curl falls out, then you probably do want to do them a little bit tighter. Because for me, mine falling out isn't like bad for me because I like that beachy look. But if you want like a, a curl like that throughout the day, which is not really like something that will probably happen for everybody. But now just look at the back there. Now this side's starting to settle, but this side is still still um, really curly. So they're both really curly and they curl into each other a little. So now what we're going to do is we're going to take another section. I usually do like three or four sections, but I have pretty thin hair. So sometimes I do five depending. So we will see how this goes. Now for this way, I probably will direct them the opposite way that I directed them in the, the back. So now we're going to separate that into the two again. So we're going to have the curls we already did and then the new curls. You're going to separate the hair. You can tell which hair is curled and what's not because you can tell. So now again, you're going to start from the, the center of the back of your head all the way towards the front. You're going to hold the curling iron. I'm going to hold it the other way. No, I'm going to hold it this way. My hair is gone, getting so long, even though I literally cut it all off after my wedding. Well, I cut like five inches off, which is a lot for me because I never cut my hair. And now here we are in quarantine and I really need a haircut. In a while. Alright, so it's in the curling iron. We have no fish hooks. Drop it out. And you've got a curl. Okay, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to curl pretty much to the top and then I'll be back. Okay, guys, so I'm at my last and final layer. My hair is looking frizzy the house right now. We're going to separate that third and um, fourth and final layer. I ended up with four rows this time. Sometimes the top can be the most difficult because you're dealing with the most of the top of your head and you can't always see it. So just remember to go slow, take your time, especially if you don't do this often, because curling your hair is not an easy thing, and even for me, it can be difficult sometimes, especially because I don't 
really curl my hair often and mostly I'm curling other people's hair. So it's a lot easier for me to curl other people's hair than it is to do my own. But if you go slow, just like with anything else, you definitely can come up with something awesome. So for my bridal shower, I did my own hair and makeup and I'm kind of recreating that look today um, because honestly I could have worn it to my wedding. Everybody complimented me on how natural I looked and how much of a bride I looked like. So I could have probably gone simpler for my bridal shower, but I'm not a simple person as we know. So we just will go with that look because it is a, lo a look that I was going to do for my wedding as well. And I was kind of just trying it out. But then my best friend who did my makeup and, my, and then my other best friend who did my hair, um, I gave them the reins and I am glad I did because they did an amazing job with everything. And that's hard because when you're a hairdresser, cosmetologist, and you're used to doing your own hair makeup, usually you don't like when other people do it. So, I'm blessed to have wonderful friends who can do that. So now I'm just kind of like going through the top. You can see it can be a little bit more challenging because look at how much hair I'm working through and a lot of the times the top is the most damaged because that's where we usually end up over flat ironing and you know having just more exposure to the sun through so now with this front one I'm gonna make sure it goes away from my face because we don't want anything in my face during the hair I'm um, during my wedding if it was my wedding so we're going to curl it away from the face this end piece here that really needs to just be chopped off but I don't cut my own hair because even though I'm a hair stylist I do not cut my own hair we're making sure it's away from the face see how that goes backwards it's gonna make a world of a difference when you're on the dance floor or doing whatever you're doing and the winds in your face so it's gonna look really nice okay so I'm gonna do the other side and then we will go right back to the actual um, style I guess this would be you can also wear your hair down this way as well if you don't want to put it up I'm just going to give you a little simple way to make it look a little bit more fancy than that. Um, I'm just using some simple bobby pins and I don't unfortunately have any um, hair pieces. I wore a tiara on my wedding day so I just did, um, what did I do? I can't remember. Oh, I just did um, the tiara and bobby pins for my um my hair and like so everything else was just bobby pins and then I just had it pinned up in bobby pins in a top knot and I had my hair mostly down and I had a tiara I will get my tiara you could even incorporate a tiara to this look if you wanted to I just recommend bobby pinning it, pinning it down. It might aggravate you. Mine didn't because I had it stuck into my um, top knot, but if you're having it mostly down, I'm pretty sure she also bobby pinned my chair into my hair. I can't remember. Because it's not like a comb bobby chair. It's a full on chair. I'll get it out in a minute. Okay, now with this one again, we're going to make sure it goes away from my face. 
because I do like most of my curls towards my face because it frames my face because I have angles. But in the front, we sure like that swoop back. So that's the look just with the curls. Now you can use some spray. I'll use my shine spray. This is thermal shine spray from Rusk. Um, you can use any shine spray. Also, if you have hair that is gonna fall out, use some hairspray at this point. So we're gonna, I'm gonna turn around and show you that. So that's what the back of my hair looks like now. And I'm gonna actually need a second mirror for this so I can see what I'm doing. So you're gonna wanna sit, like I have a huge mirror behind me, but I want you guys to see what I'm doing. So I have a mirror here. Um, you can't yet, but. So grab some bobby pins. I use about four when I do this in my hair. What we're going to do is we're gonna take like this top row here and we're gonna kind of separate it a little bit. Have all the rest of the curls down like that. Hopefully you can see all of this. And what I'm gonna do with this top row is I'm gonna make sure everything's smooth. On the top, we're gonna make sure this top is smooth and I'm actually going to split this in half and twist it over. No, we're not braiding it. It's just a twist. So now that I've twisted it over like that, I'm gonna take a bobby pin So now we have both sides twisted over, right? We're gonna take the bobby pin and we're gonna go diagonal and like underneath. I'm doing this without looking, so don't mind me. I really highly recommend you put like some kind of crystal piece or something on top of it to hide any bobby pins. I mean, most of them should be hidden with your hair, but what I'm going to do with that is I'm going to also take it, hopefully you can see, and I'm going to take where that was and I'm just going to like take the, bo the bobby pin and go underneath so it's straight up through the middle and that will give it a little bit more body. You can also use one of those donuts that go under it and like put the hair over it but that would be a little bit more complicated. Um, so I'm also, I'm just going to take another one and just place it where I feel like it's not that secure. So like here on this side, because I feel like I've put most of them on the other side. So the bobby pins should kind of crisscross. So let me just make sure they look, it looks the way I want. Okay, so... Now that I have that, you can see my hair just like that. It's just very simple, goes into a little bit of a twist. And if you had like a clip, like with sparkles or something on it, you could totally put it right over that. And I wish I had one of the ones my bridesmaids used because they were just little hearts and crystals. It was so cute. So this I wore on my wedding day. You can still wear a tiara if you want. And I just kind of put it in like that. And then what you would do is take some more um, bobby pins. Now on my tiara, I don't want to mess up the hair. It has little holes there. Usually they do. And that's to like for your hairdresser or yourself to secure it. So because we have nothing else really to secure it to, you're going to stick the bobby pin through the hole and secure it to pretty much just the top of your head, anywhere it will go. I'm not going to do it because I don't want to wear it for like the whole day. So, But see how the bobby pin went through the hole and then you'll secure it or your stylist will secure it. And I'm messing it up by doing this. <laughs> I'm just going to put it on regular here. Okay, so 
from this point, if you wanted to, you could take it, you could put it into like a little twist, like, and add like some, some, some pins in there if you wanted to. And then that would be really super cute. You would just like stick in some hair pins and bobby pins right in there. And that would be an updo if you wanted to go more of an updo. But if you want something really simple you can do on your own, I recommend doing this twist and having like either really pretty hair piece or maybe a tiara or whatever you feel so that is the look for me um i feel like this is something that's really simple and sweet and you can even wear your hair down with the curls if you wanted to honestly it's your wedding do whatever you want everyone's gonna tell you what to do but I hope this helps with some tips and especially like making sure like how to curl your hair is really important because sometimes when you're curling your hair you don't know what to do at the end and making sure that the hair the curls are away from your face like so this will make my hair stay back all behind my head all day so I'm not having pieces come in the front I tend to do this with my hair so that's why I keep doing that but it will stay behind you so with that I hope this helped you guys. Um, stay tuned for part two of this video where I show you how to do your wedding makeup um, that goes along with this look. It will go with any any hair look. If you're interested in that, I will have that video up in like the, day, the next day or so. And I will hope that you like this video. If you could give me a thumbs up, subscribe if you haven't already, and I will see you in the next video. Have a nice day. Bye.